Hello there, person. Let's check out what's new with Wraithbinder. What I've been working on is arrows, arrow flights, parabolic arrow flights versus straight arrow flights, and um, most recently, leveling up. So I really am excited by this idea of unlocking all your abilities as you go through the match. We'll cover that in a second. Um, let's take a look at... Actually, no, let's go straight in. Let's take a look at that whole leveling up thing first. We've got basically uh, an experience bar in the bottom middle. Um, and uh, as you gain matter points, you gain some experience. I'm probably gaining experience too much, too fast right here. But there, you hit, um, you hit your level up and um, you gain more hit points. You gain more matter points and you gain abilities as you go through the match. So this is really fun um thing to add into the gameplay um you know most games multiplayer games kind of like this seem to kind of do this anyways and this is a really cool thing you basically um can purchase items outside of the match this is how it'll kind of work in wraithbinder is you'll be able to like buy a bow for example outside of your match on your ship or whatever and then in the match as soon as you level up enough you can use it um if i level up again um, I can get another ability. So now, I, well, let's see, maybe I'll upgrade so I can have my sword now. So now I can use the sword, and that does more melee damage. And then I'm imagining each ability will have a bunch of different levels. So um, sword one, sword two, sword three, bow one, bow two, bow three, and they'll all have little upgrades. Maybe, you know, like bow level two, you can target a shot. Um, with the sword two, you can start charging it up and attacking uh, a more explosive melee attack melee attack sorry um and it's really fun once you, you get like your third ability here it's let's get um the boots there's a uh, did it work yeah so right now i have like now i have this cool melee, melee ability i've got a great ranged ability and i can run pretty sweet um, that was crazy seeing that, that level up animation happen while running. Uh, this is what I'm working on right now, in particular, is this whole level up animation. There's no sound effect when he hits the ground. Needs some cool sound effects and some more animations and things like that. that. Um, but this is going to be cool, having a sweet level up animation. In fact, I'm going to work a while on this whole level up animation uh, to the point where, like, I worked a long time on the, the HP and the MP bobbles, and uh, you can see there's a lot of animations going on there. Um, I'd like to do something cool with the level up as well, so it just feels so special. Like, you level up, you're like, yes, I leveled up. Um, so let's go ahead and, um, oh, we've actually done, yeah. So the only, really, the, only, the only other thing I've been working on is having these creeps too. So they help you level up a little bit, you get more experience from fighting them. Um, and then there's all these different bow shots. So if we, um, there, that's the, uh, this is the quick shot. So you press the button and release it really quick and it will fly. The arrow will fly perfectly straight and then fall at the end. We can see that a little bit clearer when you stand lower, like here, you can see it sort of like falling off the edge there. Actually, if we aim this way, wait, no, this way, sorry, like that. So they, they, there's the quick shot, um, there's the long shot, so if you hold the bow down and you don't have any target, no foes nearby, you'll do this long shot. It's like you're aiming really, you're pulling the bow back even farther, aiming upward, and boom, you do this long arced shot. So we've got the straight shot, the long arced shot, and then the targeted shot. So if I actually target an enemy... Um, it will fly straight at them, and it will also heat seek a little bit. So if I shoot towards that guy, see how it heat seek there at the end? Um, the targeted shot will heat seek a little bit. It really just helps the the fast paced action happen better. In fact, let's go ahead and hit some fast paced stuff. We're gonna turn off limit players. So we have all eight players, free for all. And we'll fight the bots and see how this goes. The bots are a little bit smarter now. They can use the, their ranged weapons, whether it's a bow, whether it's a boomerang, whether it's a grenade. And um, we'll see how it goes playing these guys. 
we've gained a little bit of experience here. Once again, I'm noticing that I'm getting way too much, way too much experience for hitting these uh, these pillars here. The point is to gain matter point. Whoa! Check it out. Burke. Oh, I have an ability to upgrade. Okay, that was crazy trying to have to do that during battle, but wasn't too. I should have. I, what I would have done if I were actually playing a multiplayer match there is I would have waited to a good moment to upgrade. Um, I wanted to have two different buttons for. So basically, what happens to upgrade your ability, right? You got the level up. Right now, I can level up and gain more game um, up in abilities. This is crazy though. Both these guys in here. Um, while I can gain an ability, I can press, you can press the W button, well, that's, uh, that's basically select on your gamepad, uh, on my keyboard, I've got it mapped to W, so if I press W, then I can select an ability to upgrade, it's kind of messed up right now, and there's no animation and stuff like that going on, but the mechanics are basically there, right, so you basically press your select button on your gamepad, and then you can press whatever button it is, you can, I, actually, sorry, you can, Press up or down to select your ability. It's not working right now. <laughs> but normally you can press up or down. And then you press A to basically commit to um, that ability upgrade. So, uh, gosh, I, I, kind of, I kind of went back and forth debating in my mind like whether that should be... Um, it immediately just instantly puts you in that mode where you can choose an ability. Um... But I like being able to, like, I like being able to delay up, uh, upgrading my ability. And I want to have the choice of whether that interrupts me as a player, right? Like, I don't want to just be playing the game and have it force the choice of an upgrade on me and, and distract me from battle. So that's why there's two buttons. Select gets you into that mode, and then you press up or down to, to choose one of the abilities, and then you confirm um, the upgrade of that ability. All that is taking you away from battle, but it's not, um, yeah, I, I guess really you just have to be careful about when you use it. So I, I'd love some thoughts on that. If you want, you got any thoughts on how that, um, the ability upgrade should work, leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Oh, should we look at any code? Heck, why not? What should we look at? Um... Now let's look at the, the level up animation. This is basically what's happening in the level up, right? As soon as you level up, we've got a light beam that happens, plays a sound effect, it changes the player's stance from a melee stance back to a, an, um, a the, your sword or your weapon on your back stance. Um, and then it animates your level up. And then after that, you stand back up, at, you fly up into the air and then smash the ground and stand up. And then it also does some more effects when that's done. It does a speed trail, an energy wave, some dust, and it shakes the screen. But let's look at the, the animation. That this thing's uh, this was fun to do. Um, so here's the animation. Um, uh, let's do this. Slow mo. So he's floating up into the air, arching back. And then wham hits the ground and then this is where it transitions into another animation so it transitions into the animation where he stands back up after that so he he instantly goes from this pose to kneeling on the ground with one fist on the ground and standing up so that's how that's that kind of smoothly looks there so that's it thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you next time